got mine. She stuck with a king for my prime. What's up, you guys? It's your girl MJ. Um, I don't got my hair done, and it's probably gonna be a while till I get my hair done. So, you feel me? Um, I'm I'm gonna just do another voice podcast because, um, again, I'm almost you feel me? I'm almost at a million followers on uh, you feel me six oh. And um, I'm gaining a little more on YouTube. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. I kind of wanted to talk about um, like astral projecting, you know? Um, I don't know if you guys know much about this. Um, when I first started diving down, you know, spirituality and taking myself out of like the physical body, you know, of things, um, I started to understand that like you could you could project your your soul, you feel me? So like different places. And uh, so basically, all in all, I don't know if you guys have ever been like just chilling, you know, reading a book, watching TV, or just outside, um, just whatever the case may be, you know? And for some reason, like you might've like gotten a swift of something, like a certain cologne or like flowers or like candy or sweets or, you know, a bitter smell, like, um, like trash, like it ain't always great. You know, um, it's not always a great aroma, but I don't know if you guys ever been, have experienced that. And when you look around, there ain't nothing really around you. You get what I'm saying? And so that shit is astral projecting. So basically your body, your physical body is still where you are, but your soul is ascending to different places that you've been. And so like a lot of the times when you're depressed or we're sad or things of that sort, you know, people will reach out to you or um, you'll start, you know, getting like um, a certain taste bud in your mouth of when you were happy or um, you'll get a smell of a certain cologne or fragrance that brings, you know, happiness to you. And so it's kind of like your soul is just going to a place that um, brings happiness to you. And I just kind of wanted to talk about that today because, yo, like, I remember when I was in Antioch, it was me, Thomas, um, my little sister, and my nephew, and we were, uh, we were like, we were at the store, but I think Thomas just ran in or something, and I was sitting in the passenger seat, um, and as that was, like, as we were just waiting, just talking, you know, I don't know why, but like, I got in my head, and if you guys remember, like, Back home, I was just going through a lot of just trauma, I guess you could say. And so with that being said, I wasn't like the happiest, you know? So every little thing was bothering me or every little just moments I just didn't feel like I was a part of. And so when I was, when I was sitting in the car, there was a group of friends who kind of came and uh, just was like sitting on their bikes in front of the store. Um, they were, one of the friends was, he was just drinking water. I don't know these people. It was strangers, complete strangers, just standing in front of our car and just kind of, you know, posted in front of the, uh, the store, just drinking water. I don't know why that happened, but for some, for some reason, my mind like focused on this, this young man who was drinking the water. And when I put my focus on him, and I know it sounds weird, but like I was watching him, y'all, like I tasted the water that he was tasting. And it was almost as if, it was almost as if I like kind of jumped into his body and I could taste the water, but I wasn't, I was sitting in the car. And so another, another, uh, astral projection that I realized that I did when I was going through this stuff, um, I was, I think I was doing the dishes one day in Antioch and I was super sad, you know, uh, life is just hard sometimes. And so, you know, when we are going through our, um, our low vibrational like moments or whatever the case may be, like I said, we'll, our soul will try to go to, um, different areas of when we were happy. And in this particular moment, I was doing the dishes and, um, I started tasting like, mashed potatoes i don't know why i was tasting mashed potatoes but i did remember a long time ago like 
a year had passed or whatever the case may be. And I remember um, back when I was in Massachusetts with my ex, um, his mother had made some mashed potatoes. And y'all, when I tell you that, like, I don't know why I went there, but my soul wanted some mashed potatoes and I smelt the mashed potatoes and I tasted the mashed potatoes like in my physical body if that makes sense so I'm in Antioch doing dishes and for some odd reason I started to taste mashed potatoes and I call me crazy if you want to you know I don't know if you guys have ever experienced stuff like this maybe something that can be more relatable relatable to you um when you know your your soul's astral projecting or whatever the case may be um i've noticed that like when i'm having a bad day or you know my energy is just a little low um throughout the day or whatever the case may be i've noticed that you know those who i have a very strong connection with they'll reach out to me and i've noticed that it's kind of because my soul is you know radiating out of power of low vibrational and so it's calling out to those that I love and they reach out to me. Hey, you know, I was thinking of you. You crossed my mind, whatever the case may be. Um, and I have done that as well. Sometimes I will, for some reason, you know, I'll be driving or I'll be walking and I'll, I'll see a sign like with my mom's name or my father's name or my brother's name or my sister's name, you know, um, things like that. And so, it's little small synchronicities um, that you kind of just start putting together. And when I see these names, you know, like my mother's, it'll be, it'll be my mom's name, but it's like a nail shop or something. It's like, dang, that's kind of odd. <laughs> like, what the heck? And so it'll make me reach out to my mom. And nine times out of ten, she might be going through something, you know, and so her soul was just kind of reaching out to me to like for me to send her love and so i just wanted to i wanted to remind you guys that sometimes when someone crosses your mind you know just tell them hey you know sometimes that's all this world needs is just like a, um a reminder that you know everything's gonna be okay to keep your head up and to keep going you crossed my mind i hope all is well and it's it just gets super um deep once you start disconnecting from this physical world because you no longer view yourself as a human but more so as an entity and just kind of paying attention to these different synchronicities of the divine interventions and you know the the angel signs and like i said in my other video my videos um my other podcast i'm sorry um, the numerology and things of that sort. And so I just kind of wanted to just talk about, you know, astral projecting. And I don't know if any of you guys have really experienced any of this stuff. Like I said, um, another situation that I remember, um, hmm, like I was in Antioch and I was chilling. Well, actually, I was trying to go to sleep. And so, you know, I'd be, you know, I'd be smoking sometimes. Well, not sometimes, I do. And so, um, I was, I was going to bed, but for some odd reason, like I was smelling like weed. You get what I'm saying? Like it was almost as if somebody was sitting right in front of me, like putting weed in front of my nose. Like that's how, that's how distinctive and prominent this smell was. Like I kid you not, I started smelling the blanket. I started smelling like my hands. I started smelling the pillow. Like, what the hell? Like, I don't see weed in front of me, but I'm smelling it. And so, for some reason, I just got in my head like, Thomas, okay? And so, I instantly just like texted him. It was like 11 or something. Um, I ended up texting him and I said, you know, I hope you're okay or whatever the case may be. Um, be safe and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so, anyways, uh, he ended up texting me the next morning and he ended up telling me that he was kind of going through some, like, a major, you know, something big the night prior. And so, basically what I'm saying is 
his soul kind of astral projected to me and I could feel him and I could feel the energy and it made me reach out to make sure he was okay. Um, and had I not reached out to him, I would have never got that sign of me astral projecting or not me astral projecting him astral projecting and me smelling, you know, something that I know he does or whatever the case may be. Um, and so, yeah, man, like, Pay attention to those things, you know? A lot of the times, we don't really recognize, you know, what's going on um, and in our daily lives or activities because we are we get so caught up in this physical realm that it is very hard to disassociate or disconnect with this physical realm. And um, it's important for us to understand that this is, you know, we are entities and we are experiencing a human body experience you know it's, you know very important to understand that we are not objects you know we are not we are literally just um humans human beings living a human experience and so a lot of the times you know this table that i have in front of me that's the coffee cup that i have um holding my coffee like these are objects you know and a lot of the times when we're walking um we we just have to objectify almost everything because it's a physical realm and so i want to just remind you guys um that this is a human experience we're not objects okay so um just be cautious of that and astral projecting is it's real you know so it's kind of like it's because your your soul is going to go different places when you're asleep. You know, when your vehicle and your body is asleep, it's kind of like a car. So when you know you're working the car all day, you you gotta you gotta turn the car off. You know, eventually and it sleeps overnight and stuff. You gotta warm it up in the mornings. You know, <laughs> all of that stuff. Um, you gotta put gas in it. Same thing. You gotta put water. You know, in us, and we gotta we gotta hydrate ourselves and stay healthy and things like that. Um, we have to take care of our vehicle. I said all of that to say, when we rest our vehicles, our soul don't stop. You feel me? Like, we keep ascending because we. this is just an experience of a human experience. So when the human body is asleep, the soul, the entity, the, the spirit is still traveling. And astral projecting is more of something that you can control. If you really wanted to control it and wanted to go to different places that you've been, because the minds can only create places that it's been. Okay, so if you try to astral project to somewhere that you have no idea what it looks like, whatever the case may be, your soul might have, you know, might have a few struggles trying to get there. Because you don't, one, you don't know what it looks like, you don't know how to get there. And so, obviously, when you astral project, you don't need a, you don't need no map. But... You definitely can control your astral projections by going through a deep meditation, um, not falling asleep, you know, but putting your body in a very comfortable position and taking, I would probably say like, I would recommend, because I've done it only once, I would probably recommend like five to 10 deep breaths, but really deep breathing, okay? So like really... Um, connecting the body with the soul, but also disconnecting the body from the soul. So understanding that this is a, in, you're in a human body, but understanding that you're trying to take your soul somewhere else. And so you do your deep breathing, your techniques, you're in a comfortable, comfortable position. Your body will start to shut down as if it's going to sleep. However, you will then be in like an in-between state. And so that's when your soul will be ascending and going to different places. And you, you have all the feelings that you have when you're a human, like when you're in your physical body, you get what I'm saying? Um, not when you're human, when you're in your physical body, you still have those same, that same energy and those same emotions and the same feelings when you're astral projecting. It's just now you're awake and you're astral projecting your your subconscious and your spirit basically but we do it when we're asleep y'all like i don't know if y'all know that but we do that already and so astral projection act 
astral projecting is literally the same exact thing. It's just sometimes you can control it or sometimes you can't. And it can happen when you're awake as well. And so I wanted to just hop on here fast, uh, talk about, you know, astral projecting and how, how, I don't want to say easy it is, but how important it is to understand that you can, you know, travel your subconscious and you can control it and you can just go to different places that bring you peace and um, that harmony and whatever the case may be. And so pay attention, you know, to who reaches out to you when you're sad, who reaches out to you when you're happy and who comes across your mind just randomly because sometimes all it takes is that little one cross like mind cross and then you know you telling them hey you crossed my mind I love you and you don't even know like that that made their day 10 times better because they were on the verge of you know just having a mental breakdown or whatever the case may be like just feeling like the world is falling apart and so I want to let you guys know that you're not crazy you feel me like when you're going through crazy like a fucking tragedy or something and people people feel your energy even when you're not around them because your subconscious and your spirit is going around excuse me those who you have a connection with and so um just pay attention to that okay um happy motherfucking wednesday uh it's kind of gray outside so <sighs> i'm a little upset because i can't go to the park you know and enjoy a beautiful sunny day but it's okay because it kind of depicts my my like emotion um but it's all right you know what i'm saying cool um we gonna have a beautiful day anyways and thank you guys for listening nonetheless your beautiful soul and your beautiful spirit and just spread your smile okay so all right peace and love that was kind of ugly